Okay, welcome back to our little series on subnetting. Now you can always tell where you are within this series by looking at the part number. Right now we're in part two. Part one, we actually introduced subnetting and what we could do if we took one bit from our host addressing. Now, remember we had this address, 192.168.1.0, with a prefix of 24, which meant the first three bytes, or 24 bits, were my network address. The last eight bits were my host addresses. So I could use these bits here to create host addressing, or I could steal a bit or two to make subnets, and we stole one bit. Now when we took that one bit, we could have 0 and 1. So we could have two different numbers, two different networks. That's interesting. Now what if I need three networks though? Let's come over here and let's say, okay, that's fine and dandy, but I want to create off of my router here three networks. Well. With one bit, I can't do it. So maybe two bits. So if I take two bits off of here, I can have 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. Now what I can create with just two bits is four different numbers or four different networks. Okay? Hmm. But what if I needed more? What if I needed, say, six networks? Well, that's not going to cut it, so let's try three bits. Now I could have 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1 0 and one, one, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight different numbers, eight different networks. <clears throat> so we should be able to come up with a little formula for finding the number of networks we can have based on the number of bits we take. And just by looking at this, two, four, eight, it sounds like if I take two, to a power that's equal to the number of bits that I'm going to take, that should work. Okay, so let's look at this. Here I took one bit. Two to the first power is two. Here I took two bits. Two to the second power is four. Here I took three bits. Two to the third power is eight and so on. 2 to the 4th power would equal 16. I could take 16 different, can make 16 different numbers out of 4 bits, and I can have 16 different networks. So my formula for finding the number of subnets I can create is based on this, 2 to some power, and that power being the number of bits I'm going to steal from my host addresses. Now, that works for networks. Now you'd think, well, that formula should work for hosts as well. If I take uh, these six bits for hosts, that would be two to the sixth power. Well, let's take three bits. Let's say I'm taking three bits for hosts. 4, 2, and 1. I'm taking those three bits. So that formula says three bits, I should be able to get eight different addresses or eight different numbers. But there's a problem with that because on our host bits, if I took these three host bits here, I said, okay, 2 to the third power equals these numbers, eight different numbers. But there's a problem, right? I cannot use all zeros. All zeros was the network address. I cannot use all ones. All ones is the broadcast address. So this formula still holds the same as it does for networks, but I got to subtract two because I can't use all those addresses. In fact, 
if I had three bits for my addressing there. Hmm. Something's not right. I could have six addresses. Oh, that's right. I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm looking at this as the fence being over here. Now, if I have three bits for my host, that means I have a slash 29 on my network. Three bits for my host. I can have all these numbers, but I got to subtract two, all zeros and all ones. So that really leaves me, instead of having eight, I can have six host addresses. Okay, so those are the formulas anyway. 2 to the n minus 2 for my hosts. And 2 to the n for my networks. Okay, try to write some of this down. Get this concept under your belt. I'm going to start erasing it though, so we can move on with our discussion of subnets. All right, the board does not erase the black very well. Gotta get a little liquid on it. And, okay, that'll be good enough for now. One more little squirt. Okay, so now we understand the formula for finding the number of networks. Two to the n power, the number of bits I need to take to get enough to cover these networks. Okay, now I need three networks. So is 2 to the 1 power going to help me? No, that's only 2. 2 to the second power, though, is 4. So I can get three different networks out of there if I take two bits, these two bits right here. If I take those two bits right there, now I can figure out my addressing. Notice the prefix on this side of the fence. This is my network portion. My first three bytes are the same, and I'm taking these two bits out of my last byte, so my prefix is now slash 26. 26 bits. 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 2. Okay. So, for my first network, I need three. I need one, two, I need three different networks here. I can use this address, 192.168.1.0, but it's got to have a prefix of 26, because I've taken these two bits. Now, You'll notice I'm looking for my first host here. My first host is still going to be just adding a 1 to the end. So this becomes 192.168.1.1 slash 26. My last host is going to be turning all these bits on. If you're having a problem with this, go back and review the first video, part 1. But I'm going to turn these bits on, all my host bits, for my broadcast. If all the host bits are on, that's a broadcast address. So all the bits on in that case would add up to 63. So my broadcast is going to be 192.168.1.63 slash 26. Now my last host is one less than all the bits on, right? So I'm going to take one less than that, and I'm going to say my last host 
is 192.168.1.62 slash 26. Okay, so that's my first network. And how do I get my next network? Well, I'm telling you the easiest way is just to add one to here. Okay, so the next network would be 192.168.1.64 slash 26. But we can see that if we go up here. Remember, I've got three bytes over here that I haven't written down. 192.168.1, because they can't change. But now these two bits can. So if I turn this bit on, it was off before. Now if I turn it on, what's the bit positional value? 64. 64. 64 in my fourth, uh, my fourth byte, my last byte, 64. Okay? So now we can work from here. What's my first host going to be? Well, my first host is going to be one higher than this because I'm going to turn that first bit on. So that'd be 64 plus 1. So my first address, dot one dot sixty five slash twenty six. Okay. My broadcast is going to be all these bits on again. And remember, we said that equaled sixty three. If I turn all these bits on, it's sixty three. But look, I got the sixty four bit on as well. So sixty three and sixty four is one hundred twenty seven. 168.1.127 slash 26. Okay, that's my broadcast. My last usable address, one less than that. 192.168.1.127. One less, not the same. 126 slash 26. Now that's easy to see. If we do it this way, if we turn all these bits on, bit on, bit on, bit on, bit on, bit on, bit on, okay, that added up to 127. Now I'm going to turn this bit off. So basically, what I did was I subtracted one from that number, 126. Okay, so now we used that. Now we can also turn this bit on and turn this bit off. Okay, that would be my next network. I've now got the 128 bit on. Makes sense because if this is 127, that's going to be one higher, 128. So my network for my third one or the third network I need is 192.168.1.128 slash 26. Okay. My first usable address, one higher, 192.168.1.129 slash 26. My broadcast there's going to be all these bits turned on again, which we already said was 63, plus 128. 192.168.1.191. 63 plus 128. Slash 26. My last usable host address, one less than that. 192.168. One ninety slash twenty six. There, I've got all the work done for my three networks I need. Using the fact that I needed to steal two bits in order to get these three networks. Now I do have four possible. I could turn both of these bits on now, and that would give me one ninety two. So my next network, one more than that, is dot one ninety two. But I don't need that network, so that's just sitting there for future use. Okay, that's doing it for three. We're going to take a look at um, how to develop a, a system for doing this very quickly um, in the next little video.